Okay, now that we've got our profile for the base shoe set into our tool, let's do a right hand cope, same way. We're going to set for right cope, 93 degrees. Lock her down. We're going to put our base shoe face up, just proud of the shim. We're going to take our 3-in-1 tool, which now we're going to use as a clamp hold down for the base shoe. It's going to hold it nice and square. We take our sample piece that we set our profile with, and we're going to put that right under there. And that's going to hold this nice and tight and square. And it's the one time you could probably use a clamp which would serve you best. Because you want to get deep in here where you put some pressure on this back side over here. Because you're actually dividing between two points here. And you want to make sure you get plenty of pressure right here so this doesn't slide out. Okay. Now we're set for a Right cope, 93 degrees on base shoe. And this only takes a second. Now I can see that that's a very good cut just by looking at the profile and the base shoe. So while we're at it, let's just flip it around do a left hand cope. Face down for a left cope. Same way, just prod the shims, hold it down with the clamp, and your sample piece will pop the clamp on and try to exert some good pressure back here so our work piece doesn't slide on us. And that's nice and solid. Once again, our anti tear off fixture is set just behind that last shim. All right, let's do a left hand cope. But remember, we have to adjust for a left cope. 93 degrees, left cope. Okay, let's make our cut. See how we did. So it's that fast to switch from left to right. Now when you're doing base shoe, you're, you're going to get very paper thin up here. So you might want to just take your thumb and just crack some of that off on both sides. You don't want to leave that really paper thin stuff on top. Okay, let's see how we did first with our right hand cup. Absolutely perfect. And let's switch it over. See how we get our left hand cope. Once again, it's perfect. Now it's not nailed down, so it's popping up a little bit, but you can see the joint right here is perfect. Let me give you a close up view of it. can see that's a perfect matched pair. So it's worth it to take your time to do a little setup and get some nice looking base shoe inside corners 